Alright, to install the firework controller, you want to already have an avatar that you can upload into VRChat, so it has to have your avatar descriptor, all of your animator layers set up, and your menu is already good to go. Then, go to your the Gumroad page, find these three links here for these packages. This avatar I'm using here already uses Poyomi, so I don't have to install that again. Go to the screen space Uber shader, click on code, download zip, go over to your downloads folder, extract it, and drag it in to your assets folder. Next, go back to the Gumroad, click on PFC tools, download the Unity package, and you can run that straight from here, import, Then you should have two tabs here for PFC tools. Finally, you can install the Xavian Fireworks Unity package. Click import. Go down to materials. We've got some fixing to do with all these shaders. Select all of them, all the pink ones. Go to Poyomi, Poyomi Tune. Now there's a couple that are still broken that we have to fix. For example, the arrow must be set to transparent in the render queue at the bottom. Same for the drone one shader, transparent. New material one, I haven't named them, just set it to transparent one, and transparent. As well. Basically any of these that say fade or anything that's not opaque needs to be changed back to transparent. So this one's transparent. This one is also transparent because it is also using fade. That should be all of the ones that are broken. I'm trying to figure out why this is happening, but for now, it just has to be fixed every time you import it. Pake, good. Everything should be good now. Also make sure that these, the firework screens and strobe are set to Levian's screen space shaders. Next, we're going to find the right elbow of the avatar, not the arm or wrist, it's down in your armature. It has to be the left or right elbow, doesn't matter which one, just one of the elbows. Add an empty object to it. I'm going to name this something like firework mount. Name doesn't matter, it just has to be an object centered on your elbow. Go into prefabs, drag the firework launcher onto your avatar and drag this mount object into the source constraint. If this isn't perfectly positioned on your avatar, it probably won't be. You'll notice you can't actually drag it around. It's because you have to go to the constraint settings and unlock it. Then you can move it around freely and then lock it back in. Make sure you lock it again. That's very important, otherwise it will not work properly. So I'm going to undo that and just drag this back on. Drag this in here again and make sure it's locked. Okay, now we drag the firework audio onto the avatar again, right next to the firework launcher. And the firework shader here goes into the armature. It's very important that you get these in the right spots because the animations will not work if you don't have them in the right spots. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use PFC tools here. Open animator merge tools. I'm going to go to Animator Layer Transfer Control, Transfer Tool. Go to Reference Assets, drag in the reference layers to the Source Controller. Go to your avatar, find your FX layer, drag whatever that controller is into here, copy the parameters, and copy the layers. Now go to Parameter Transfer Tools. The source is going to be the reference parameters here. The target is going to be the parameters on your avatar. Add any that are missing. Finally, close that, go to Menu Transfer Tool. The source is going to be the reference menu. And the target is going to be any menu on your avatar that you want. It can be your main menu here, or it can be a sub-menu. It's just whichever you want these controls to go on to. You need to have two free slots. Drag menu onto here and add the two missing ones. Alright. Once that is done, 
you should, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, be good to go. I can use Gesture Manager here to test. I can run the scene. The controller should be invisible by default. Go. You can enable it. It appears some other things have been broken as well, so let me fix those really fast. Also, there's an important step that I forgot. You need to go to the Firework Launcher, unpack it, and delete this sun object. It's left over from exporting from Blender. I just forgot to remove it. Just delete that. And let's see what happened here. Okay. This one is set to transparent like it should be. Dissolve Alpha is working. These all need to be locked in. So what we can do is we can go down here to Materials, right click, Thry, Materials, Lock Folder. This is probably going to take a while because it has to compile the most efficient version of these shaders. So just let it do its thing. Let that finish up. All right, we can test again, make sure it worked. Over here, enable fireworks, and you can see the firework controller shows up as it should. Now for the purposes of testing this, I can go into enable fireworks, leave the controller enabled. I can use a VRC contact sender that is set to hand left and index finger left. And I can drag it into range. You should see that the controller should open up. And I can use this to simulate button presses. If I get it positioned, you can hear the audio play and it changes the mode. Now if I set this to a mode, I can then go into gesture manager and create a fist with the right hand. You can see the fireworks are working. If you do not want the screen space shaders, which ch distort and change the screen when the fireworks shoot off, all you have to do is just delete the fireworks shaders object. It ch breaks nothing if you delete this. Just make sure you delete it entirely as opposed to just disabling it so that you're not wasting material slots. With that, everything's good to go and you're good to upload.